Hey guys, Zogli here, coming to you from the Keen Software House studio in Prague. Today I brought my friend Dushan to talk about the multiplayer a bit. But first, let's dive deep into the update. This week we're introducing a hit confirmation on all weapons. A successful hit to any NPCs or character with a weapon will be represented visually by changing the crosshair, including its colour, and auditory with a sound effect. On the visual side, we tweak glass surfaces a bit to look more visible with added scratches and dirt. Now I'll pass the mic to our multiplayer programmer Dushan to talk about what he's been working on for the last couple of weeks. Hey everybody, it's me, Dushan, again. Last time I talked about rubber bending. Today I want to tell you about how we are saving bandwidth in multiplayer by rewriting most of the blocks. In previous version, we were sending all the messages to all clients from the server. So if you change something through terminal, everyone who was connected to your server received the message about it. This caused an influx of messages sent from server. Imagine you are on the orbit of the planet and your friend is on the surface changing lights on the base. In previous version, server would send message about the change of lights to every client even though you are far away and can't see the base itself. In the new version, the message is received only if you are in the near vicinity to save bandwidth on the server and also on client side. Also, we are changing the character code, so movement will be done on the server and client will only predict the position. This should fix random character deaths during the gameplay. I hope this has shed some light on the multiplayer in Space Engineers. Back to you, Joel. Thanks, Dushan. And that is all for this week. See you next time and keep the comments flowing. And as always, may your wells be strong and your refineries empty of stone. <laughs>